Episode 76, I believe. Wow, we're getting up there. I didn't even, <laughs> didn't even realize we're only, uh, we're only 25 episodes away from 100. Yeah. That's you insane. What, epi- <laughs> what do you want episode 100 to be? Uh, I don't know. I don't um, know, Chris. I don't know. We could film that. I don't know. Well, whatever it is, we'll make a longer video and have an audio version too. Yeah, maybe we can do a live stream. <laughs> Let's not get crazy. <laughs> I mean, we could. I'd be down for a live stream. We watch our language better now. Yeah. <laughs> we. we. <laughs> yeah, you. Put that bad boy on Twitch or something. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so... How was your uh, Memorial Day weekend? Got the pool open. We were having a good time. Yeah. You got your sea legs. My sea legs? Yeah, you were out there boating it up. Oh, yeah. I got to... You abandoned me. I got to enjoy some time on the water myself. You abandoned your brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I got that a... Savages is open, though. It's got a wicked bad sunburn. My favorite restaurant. That's, you know, that's probably my favorite restaurant. It's a bar. I just consider it more of a restaurant. I mean, nah. aren't bars restaurants too? No. Not it, all of them, but that one is. It's a bar. I go there for the food. Nah. You go there for the disgusting shit stout that tastes like piss water, you animal. All right, pussy. I go for that grilled cheese, <laughs> the one you don't know about, it's the one that child. next time, next time I get it and you're like, mm, "This is good," I'm gonna smack you. I'm gonna be like, "No, you said that you don't care about this. You want that? Mm, don't you drink you some of that water?" <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm ready for, I'm ready for savages to open back up. I was, I had no idea it was gonna open up so soon. They just dropped that today and. They've been close this we whole time. A, we got a decent amount to talk about on this pub. Yeah, uh, we just got eyes on the state of play for Last of Us 2. They be getting crazy in Minnesota. Uh, Washington. What? She goes to Seattle. That's not what I'm talking about. Oh. What are you, are you talking about? You not know anything about what's going on right now? Oh, oh, oh! You want to talk about that? <laughs> yeah, we gonna. <laughs> All right. Your your time for video games and fun time was last week. <laughs> I guess so. We're gonna get into now, we'll real talk about news the last now. Of part two. I'm just. I just have one question. Uh, the girl at the end was she from the DLC? No. Did you ever play the DLC? No, which is why I'm kind of curious if I should or not. Uh, yeah, you should. Okay. Um, but yeah, no. It's not really a spoiler because it's in the main plot. But no, the girl from the DLC doesn't make it through. Oh. If that spoils anything for you, you're kind of stupid. I think I like, remember that. I just it's been so long since. You know. There's some. Well, I guess I guess we'll just go ahead and talk about this then. Um. So, a few things from that state of play. First of all, do you think it was needed? Uh, no. Me neither. I mean, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah, this game looks so dark. It looks mechanically really good, though. Like, everything about gameplay that I've seen... Like, the story stuff, we didn't get too much, but all that gameplay of, like, the dodges, how she moves around Mm. in the world... A lot more emphasis on stealth. I'm all for it. It looks amazing to me. Yeah. I like how the combat style is different, too, since she's so small. Mm-hmm. 
Um, yeah, I'm. Yeah. Did it change your perspective after watching that when you knew when you found out what the spoilers were? Not really, because I don't know when those spoilers took place, and I don't know when this takes place. You got to remember, this is like a big game, like hours. I think it's like probably 20 to 22 hours long, if not longer than that. So like, I don't know. I just feel like I have, I still don't know how these things connect. Hmm. So, um, nothing, I feel like there's, it's kind of impossible because from what I understand, the spoilers were only like 30 minutes of footage total out of a massive game. I just don't see how you get that much context. I don't know. I just feel like there's a lot more that even people who've seen everything still don't know. Hmm. Well, let's hope so. Yeah. What I think the Jesus. What? (laughs) Whatever you just did was really loud. So (laughs) (laughs) I guess that's time to move on. (laughs) My ears. So, how's Rona been affecting you recently? Give me a Rona update. Rona update? I mean, it's pretty much been the same. I'm just things are opening back up. Yeah, yeah, we've gone out a few times to get some dinner, but I mean, we feel it feels weird because a lot of people are wearing masks and it's like half capacity, so it's not. Do you wear mask? No, it's not all the way normal, but I don't know. Feels like it's getting there. I have not worn a mask. I have, well, okay, first of all, I haven't been out that much, but at the same time, if I see a place is packed, I just don't go. Yeah. Like if I've been to one, no, I've been to, we've been to two restaurants so far. Neither one were packed. And if they were, we'd be turning around. Like I just, I haven't had the opportunity to get close to anyone. Yeah. I mean, if that became the case and more people did go out and it became packed again, yeah, I'd pop one on. But as of now, I've been pretty good about not getting close to anyone. Yeah, I've been I've been keeping it pretty reined in, too. That's why your house smells anyways. Okay. How long do you think before everything opens back up full capacity? Um, I Honestly, probably late June, early July. Me too. I don't Which think. Which is what I've said from the beginning. <laughs> no, well, okay, well, maybe. I think things aren't. Well, I don't. Yeah, I think things are going to open up back in June. Like late July. I No, I think it's going to be July. I think things are going to open up back to full capacity in July. I don't think things will go back to normal until like September. I just don't think we're waiting on a vaccine anymore. Yeah, well. Maybe. I'm curious to see how the numbers do over these next couple weeks. I think that's going to be the big inclination on if we continue doing this or not. Yeah, it'll be like when they measure these spikes. Yeah. Like if there's going to be a big spike that happens, we'll go back to square one, I feel. Probably. Um, Which is whatever. I mean, it's not really affected me much. Yeah, I'm, it's I'm just fine people with who staying don't get home. to go back to work. Yeah. That's what sucks. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. Um, there are so many people who aren't going to get to work, and we're obviously not paying for them. I've Like, with those protests, I this is how I feel about that. Um, I see both sides. My thing is, though, like, I agree that, you know, we should be paying for small business. That way they don't have to stay open. But as of now, they're not getting paid for so I can understand the frustration. I don't know. It's just, it's hard for me to, because I get that it's a serious thing and people will lose lives. But at the same time, I can see why it'd be frustrating that like your whole livelihood's about to go away. Yeah. Especially if you're a small business owner, you're just kind of fucked. The fact that we gave any subsidies to like super huge corporations like Walmart and Amazon and uh, cannot believe they've gotten any money they have enough equity in their ownership alone that like they really don't need it yeah
Did I lose you there? No, I'm still here. Why don't you say anything? Speak up. Why don't you? Sorry. Add something to the conversation. I don't really have anything to add. And then what do you want to talk about? I don't know. <laughs> you want to move on? Yeah, let's move on. Yeah, what's who, something who you want to talk about? about let's corona. Go. What you want to talk about? I thought Wait on want, me. I thought you want to talk about that Minneapolis, Minnesota. I got a feeling you're not going to want to talk about that long, so we can't end a big conversation on it yet. So give me something else. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, let me pull up some topics. Okay, let's go ahead and just move on. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've got topics. You, you didn't come prepared, my boy. I've got two. Give me one. What's one of them? Um, fake happy psychopaths. Give me an example. So you know those people who like they're really mad at heart, but they act like happy and chipper and friendly, and then once you realize that oh, they're actually really mad, it's really scary. Is that a sociopathic thing? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because it's like it's kind of like manipulation a bit. Like they're manipulating the conversation, but it's more. uh, I don't know. It's like it's weird. I don't understand how people can do that. What made you think of this topic? I don't remember. I just wrote it down on my notes probably a couple weeks ago. Do you ever encounter? I feel like I you know, encountered people like that in the workplace. Yeah, the biggest thing that made me think about that was like when we used to work at that gas station, and I feel yeah. like you got a lot of those people, whether they be truckers or just angry people, where you See, worked. I view it as, as more as the employees. Oh, you think the employees are like that? Oh yeah, I think most employees like they put on a happy face for the customer, but inside they like want to bite your head off which understandably so i was one i was that way i yeah. did not like the people that i was cool with that came in were the ones who were like they just you know pretty much said what they want a little bit of banter is fine i don't care. i don't care about that but anyone who gave me any kind of grief i hoped immediate diarrhea <laughs> Fuck it. No, I hope they die. <laughs> I, I hated those people. They made me so mad. But yeah, well, what about those people who were like, if you messed up something, like if you made a mistake, like even if it was a small uh, thing and they were just, yeah, but they were just like, they would yeah, act like it that. wasn't a big deal and then all of a sudden just flip a switch and be like, oh, they're about to kill me. Yeah, I, I've had super, I still, to, nah, well, not still to this day, but I've, I've had supervisors in the past who are like that, or just people who are in any kind of power. It's like you you see the real person there. <laughs> yeah, it's completely I always unstable. Think about what their people. kids think. Yeah, yeah. The kids will probably be, end up messed up. I've had I remember being a kid and their parents who were like that, or even like teachers. Like, do you ever have any <sighs> teachers in school that were like that? I did. I they were always math like... teachers. Yeah, math teachers. <laughs> well, because like. It sucks for, especially in our state, because we do standardized testing. So, like, if you don't do well, like, if the students don't do well, you're directly affected. And they get so mad when you didn't just get it. Yeah. But I also went to a school where we had a lot of kids. Well, it depends what kind of math class you were in. If you were in, like, a gifted math class, like, one that went on to advanced material, the math teachers were always nice to you. But if you were in, like, the regular math class or, God forbid, the remedial math class, you were enemy of the state. They did not like you. (laughs) But they had to be nice. I think that was it. They weren't always, though. I think it was a thing of, like, some of it's justified because, like, there are sometimes, like, just random kids from a public school who are just garbage kids who will antagonize the teacher. And I get why they get mad at those kids. But if they're having an off day and you're the remedial class, you're getting it. <laughs> and you know why? Because that's a bad person who became a teacher for the paycheck. Because I, I see no other reason why you can be the, a teacher at that point. For the paycheck. Yeah. <laughs> for real, though. It's not like they get paid in pennies. They take a summer off. I guess that's true, yeah. 
<sighs> like, I'm not saying they get paid outstanding, but, like, better than I do. And they get, what, three months, two months off? So. Well, do they words, really, like, isn't that where they come up with, like, their yearly plan? No. Oh. They, so, teachers on average, at least in our state, get at least a $33,000 a year salary. Mm -hmm. Again, which, that's the year. They still get two months off of that. Um, but they don't have to work. I mean, they can go get other work or do whatever, but they do not technically have to work in those two months. Um, also, they, you know, they get spring break, fall break. Really, they get like an extra month with all the breaks included, winter, spring, fall. Yeah. I'm not saying they get paid the best because there aren't. Like, I almost pretty much the worse the school is, the worse the pay is, which should kind of be inverse. You think if a school is struggling, they should pay for better teachers, but that's not how it goes. Like, the worse the school is, the worse the teachers get paid. <laughs> it's just a downhill thing. But, yeah, I mean, if you, like, three months, that's a quarter of your, so they really, it's like a minimum of 45 if, if they were to do a full year. Because if you're adding back on a 25% increase, that's taken away, in a way. I don't, I don't know. It's just like, I just, I really don't get why else. If you're that, if you really hate kids, why do you become a teacher? Because I got a dose. I wanted to be a teacher. I found out kids are garbage and didn't become a teacher. Do you think maybe people think it might be an easy job? It's not, though. I mean, maybe. I mean, maybe that they go. summer off is a pretty good benefit to some people. Yeah. I don't I know. I mean, a summer off sounds stop, good you know? to me, but I don't really want to be a teacher. I think too soon kids are going to stop getting summers off. You think so? Oh, yeah. Why? That it doesn't prepare them for anything. Like, what's the... Like, school's not supposed to be fun. Is that They've a common that. topic, though? I don't think I've ever heard about... We almost went... In my school, we almost went year-round. Really? Mm -hmm. It's one of the, there's like three options a school can do. They can do year round, um, extended breaks or the normal, you get one, you get like two days off of fall break, a week of spring break and two of winter break. And then like two months of summer, that's the normal. Then there's like the extended where you get two weeks of spring, fall and winter, but you go back, you only get like a month and a half of summer break. But then there's year round school. Um, and I think the breaks are extended for winter, and you get a summer, like, two-week break. Hmm. But it's a year-round. It's like, oh, okay, no. Year-round, I'm pretty sure, is nine weeks on, one week off. Yeah, yeah, now that I think about, I think I remember that. They were, they've been With, throwing that around for a long time, but it's never happened. I think it's completely reasonable, as long as, like, does like if it that's the thing if you can do year round and make everything like less stressful overall that's better for the kids yeah because right now it's like you squeeze all that into a semester they're already stressing out like you have standardized testing so school's a pain in the butt also if you do year round i think it's like ridiculous that you're making kids go in there at like 7 30 a.m like school really should not start until nine <laughs> and if it's year round it shouldn't last all day it should be literally like a nine to Three thirty four deal. Yeah. Yeah. There's no reason I got to be at school at six a.m. That's stupid. That is dumb. <laughs> it's so stupid. I don't know who's I like because I don't know any. Like yeah, there's third shift and like early shift people, but that I don't understand why you would make school that way because that's not the majority of jobs. And they just gotta look at like the way that, like what they're teaching, because like. <laughs> Some most of the stuff you learn in like in grade school is just so unusable. You know? I think a lot of it's unusable. Yeah. But then you get into like, is that a bad thing though? Because at that point, art and music are unusable too. Well, I think it's subjective. Like, there could be more of a choice being made. 
And I think there kind of is, though. Like, I think algebra and geometry are requirements for a reason. I do think those should both be requirements. Like, algebra 2, or, like, versions of algebra and then geometry, but, like... <laughs> Fuck algebra 2. I mean, it should be. You really do use it. People trig, don't realize you use it. Trig, stats, economics, geometry, uh, okay, basic econ, algebra. No, econ should be, like... I don't know what your version of econ is, but it should be decently important. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying All like, those classes are important, but you don't need to bring it on into twos and threes unless you know exactly. you want to be a mathematician. And with letting those yeah. classes go, you can give up free room to not make kids come in at six in the morning and make it more of like what the real world is like where you wake up from a nine to five, maybe. Yeah, I, I don't think because keep, keeping them there eight hours they're not like at least two of those hours are going to be them not caring at all yeah and lunch so like yeah i think because at that point though i mean at least at my school once you went past geometry and algebra 2 which you could restructure that i guess but like algebra is a subject in geometry once you were done with those you did not have to take math which is the way i think to go about it like, you had to take econ, but you didn't have to take stats, pre-calc, or calculus. Which, I honestly don't know why calculus is a thing beyond, like, yeah, mathematician, or if you just find that interesting, like, there's nothing wrong with enjoying math to that degree. I mean, I kind of did. It was decently fun. But if you don't, what is the point? Yeah. Also, making kids do, like, a art elective is stupid. If they want to do it, let them do it. If they don't want to, do not make them. Yeah. Like, we had a weight, like, lifting class that you could take instead of... Because you have to take something. Like, I get that. Like, making sure that the day is complete. Or, like, a computer class I remember some people would take. Yeah. But making them do art or music is stupid. Yeah. No one likes art. Like, even people who do artistic things, I don't, like, do you remember much of your art class? Was it actually something fun? It's not like you got to do whatever you wanted. Um, if it was, that's not what an art class is. I mean, there was some freedom there, but we were, like, assigned a project. But we got to choose what the subject matter was for one of my classes. Like, the art classes you took in college, I feel like, were more, because they were specific. Like, teaching you how to do oil paintings, teaching you, like, different art styles and different ways to apply art. I mean, even then, though, like, you went for animation, so I think, like, the painting stuff wasn't necessary. But then again, I think if they taught you a painting, like, digitally, like, using software to create painting, like, images, that's useful. Yeah. But teaching you how to make an actual oil painting, I don't see as useful, even with your degree. I just, I don't know. I think year-round school is the best, but you have to restructure, like, how it's done. Because there's a lot of stupidness. Also, like, there's no need for a kid to know chemistry or physics. Because when you think physics, like a basic science class, yes, that is necessary to learn like the dangers of certain things or just knowing how that works if they want to. Because most careers do use some sort of physics, but to measuring out like mass, you could just learn that in math. And with chemistry, that is beyond unnecessary for anyone who's not going in any kind of scientific <laughs> Yeah, chemistry. That is stupid. What was your favorite high school class? Um, I really liked econ at the end, and I, I like government. Really? I think government's more important than U.S. history. I really liked anatomy. Why is that? I don't know. I just like learning about muscles and stuff. We had a little bit of time. We should talk about that thing that happened. So um, there was an incident where a police officer put his knee on the neck of a black individual. I think if you haven't heard about it by now, 
which is Wednesday, and it happened yesterday. Uh, you live so. under a rock. Um, he, so the guy that was being arrested, he had a knee on his neck, which he passed out, obviously being choked, but then eventually died because he was still, even being passed out, still didn't have any hair. Yeah. Um, I don't know anyone who thinks that cop was in the right. And I know some like Republican people. Really? And even, yeah, even them. I don't know anyone. I don't even see how you justify that, honestly. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I've seen anyone defending him. You no, know, like there are so many other ways. Even if he was, which I don't think he was resisting arrest, because that's not. That's like if you were holding someone down. Like if there was a fountain near, and he put his head in the fountain, and the guy was like wiggling. It's like that's not resisting arrest. He's like pretty much gasping for air. Which, being under a knee like that, pretty much a chokehold, that's what he's doing. He's not trying to resist. Like, he's trying to get free, but yeah. that's because he can't, he literally can't breathe. That cop knew what he was doing, too. Like, that's not an accident. And even if it was an accident, that doesn't do anything. That cop should have been trained. And the thing is, like, I don't get that whole, like, putting your knee on their back or neck or whatever. Like, you've got a taser. Yeah, that's Isn't that enough. That was ridiculous. Because, like, you can debate the taser, and the cop can be like, oh, this, that, or whatever, but at least the guy would be alive. He straight up took his life. for. And then you look at it, and you're like, well, what was he even being arrested for? Because it's rare that you'll find an arrest that takes place, and it's like, okay, that person deserves to lose their life. Like, I honestly, like, I don't know what that guy was suspected of, but it could have been the most heinous thing. He really wasn't resisting arrest. I see no reason Yeah, it's, it's... And now there's, like... And the thing is, they fired him. But, I'm sorry, that shouldn't be enough. Like, yeah. that guy should be on trial. Like, why do they get to get away with things just because they're law enforcement? That'd be like if I was at... um, You know, I'm a banker. That'd be like if I gave someone knowingly an account number, and, like, your account number, and they took all your money. Like... I didn't know they were going to take your money, but shouldn't I be charged with that too? Because I'm directly involved. Yeah. I was trained not to do that. I just, I don't get why these guys get away with it. Now there's big protests. I just, yeah. it's hard for me to feel bad for cities that go through, like, because I've seen some of the protests. I don't see too much of like property damage to non like city related things like it's i from what i've seen it's mostly just like police officer vehicles being damaged and broken and it's like i don't it's not something i would do but it's hard for me to feel bad for the police officers in that case yeah it's it's a messed up situation i just I don't like the fact that these guys are allowed to get away with putting chokeholds on people. Those are more deadly than you think. I mean, obviously, there's been two huge cases of people being choked to death by police officers. It's like, that's not a way to detain someone. Because you don't know. You're not, it's not an MMA fight. Like, I doubt most of these guys are trained to know when the person's like done. Like, because they're not tapping out. That's not how that works. Especially when you got your hands behind your back. So how do these guys know when they've passed out or if they're just dead? And if they don't know, they shouldn't be using it. Yeah, there's, there's no reason he needed to put all of his weight on that dude's neck. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, it reminds me a lot. Co cooperating. Like, it's just more of a, I don't know, trying to see who the stronger man was, but he was being a fucking coward about it. I think, like, do you think there's race issues involved there uh i mean i think the guy assumed because of that guy's color of his skin that he was going to be like resisting arrest and violent which he wasn't 
And I think that's an assumption the officer made. Well, yeah, I mean, that, that alone that's is the racist. Yeah. Like, that to me is the problem. Yeah. Something that's bothering me is that I've been seeing a lot of people on social media. Sure, they're sharing it and everything, but I've been seeing multiple people calling out people who don't share it, which seems wrong in my eyes. Because, like, they're shaming people for not speaking up about it. But I don't think... It's no one's obligation. Yeah, it's, You really don't want to. It's not your obligation. Yeah, it's not your fucking job to put your opinions on the internet. Like, if you want to, go ahead. But don't fucking shame people who don't feel comfortable, you know, putting their opinion the out there. Silence doesn't mean agreement either way. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong with just abstaining. Like, no matter what side you b- agree with. Yeah. I just, I've seen a right. couple of those today, and I was just like, that doesn't feel right to me. No, that's not. Because, like, some people just in general aren't comfortable talking about it. Yeah. And then there was that other video of the lady in the park. Did you see that one? Yeah, that's... <laughs> See, that's what annoys me a little bit is like, why does a lady like that? Or I've seen that video. I don't know what happened after the video, but like, how come certain people get away with things that others don't? I don't know. Like, I don't think she should have been beaten up or anything, but I don't think he should have either. Well, I, I mean, I saw today people were updating, I guess, the situation that she's lost her job and her dog was taken away from her. Yeah, I saw well, the way she choked her dog. She shouldn't have Yeah, it. that really unsettled me. I, I lose sympathy for anyone who hurts, like, children or animals. Yeah. Like, I try to be reasonable. Like, I'm usually anti-death penalty and stuff, but, like, when it comes to children and animals, it's you're not going to find sympathy from me. Oh, yeah, and the lady's just an overall idiot. Like, she was breaking the rules. The guy was not being aggressive whatsoever. And, and you don't, like, people don't know exactly why he was saying it. Like, maybe he was just saying it so that way she wouldn't get, like, a fine. Or something. No, it, well, it, I mean... It, it's just the rule. Like maybe he felt unsafe, but like, yeah, it's clear that you're supposed to keep your dog on its leash. And if that makes someone else uncomfortable, it's a shared space. You should follow the rules that are set. It's, you don't own that area. Like you have to follow the rules. Yeah. Cause I mean, and there, that rules there for a reason. Yeah. Because I love dogs, but some people aren't comfortable with dogs. Yeah, some people could be scared or have maybe had bad experiences with dogs in the past and don't feel comfortable with a dog being free. Especially if they've been attacked. Exactly. So, So like, she was completely in the wrong in every regard. And I think she should have been arrested for calling the cops like that. Yeah, wasting their time. Yeah. There should definitely be some sort of penalty for that. She should not be let go with the slap on the wrist. But I'm not in charge. <laughs> Honestly, in that case, I think I would have taken her dog for sure. Oh, yeah. The, the yeah. dog needed to go. Was that was safe. ridiculous. She was but suffocating also, it. Um, yeah. But also, like... I probably would have just fined her. I don't like, I don't think I'm just, I don't like the idea of police for brutality on either end. Yeah. I mean, it, it should be like, I've seen people after this incident being like, what about that girl? She should have been slammed to the ground and held down too. It's like, I don't think either one of them should. No, I, I don't think, think an any with... physical abuse should have happened, but like there should be a severe punishment for a fake call like that. Like that's fucked up. Yeah. Well, what I mean, fine. I mean, there's like hefty fines you can charge. Yeah. Or Almost maybe like, like if you use community ADR. service or something. Yeah. 
because I, I see that as like if you go to the ER for something that's necessary, yeah, they're still gonna charge you for that ER. Like, yeah, whatever amount of time, gas, and inconvenience they feel, because it could be in the thousands, really. I think it can be. I think it can actually be a restable offense. Like, if you call with no purpose, mm-hmm. which, in her mind, stupid as she is, she did feel purpose. It's just a thing of, like, there's no resolve there. Because then you set this weird precedent of, like, do some people deserve to not be able to call the police anymore? I think her getting mocked and made fun of into oblivion is the perfect punishment for that idiot. Yeah. It really That's reminded me way. It reminded me of that video of that old woman who wouldn't get out of the way of that guy's car. And she called the cops acting like he was abusing her. Did you ever see that? I uh, yeah, I've seen that video. Okay, I wish I, I wish I was prepared. I would have pulled it up, but that's a classic yeah, too. Crazy people. Yeah. I just I think people underestimate the power of making fun of people. It's pretty powerful. Yeah, and that's another thing. Like, I think somebody said Will Smith said that racism isn't growing; it's the amount of people filming these things. It's the yeah, fact that there's it. more awareness. I mean, the racism has always been there, but it's just getting more exposure now. Which is good? Maybe? It's just... <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it'd be so hard for me to see him. Because I don't understand the experience. I don't think it's fair for me to claim that it would of, like, being a person of color. I do know that, like, if I was... I mean, it still kind of bothers me. It, I mean, it really does bother me. But I'd be probably even more bothered yeah. if I see videos like that guy getting his neck choked out and dying. And then seeing videos of that protest about the corona. It was a bunch of those white people armed to the teeth <sighs> at a state building. Yep. And nothing happening to any of those people. Like, getting, like, pushing cops, yelling in their face. Like, that that blows my mind. Yeah. So. It's not right. Did you see uh, John Boyega came out and said a bunch of shit about it? Yeah, and then a bunch of stupid people were... And I saw it was, like, a few Nigerian people who were, like, offended. Really? And it's, like... Yeah, By what he said? kind of confusing. Yeah. Whatever. Everyone's yeah, I know. I was, like... I was, like, that's so weird. And the thing he said was, like, not controversial, I think. No, reasonable people hate racism. Common sense, understand. yeah. So I don't understand why anyone would be upset by him saying. Yeah. I I for real like this is it's wild because this is one of the first times that I've seen someone like an incident like this happen, and it's pretty universal that like everyone agrees that that guy that cop was wrong. Oh yeah, I mean it's not just police too; it's like regular people. Like that black guy that was on a jog a couple weeks ago and got shot up. Yeah. Because they thought he was a robber. Why even shoot him then? It's, yeah. I you think I think they were charged with manslaughter. Like they should definitely be charged with manslaughter. But so should this guy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this cop should should not be able to walk away from this. I think if he that killed a man. State really- yeah, if that state, that's the why I also like it's hard for me to feel bad for that state right now, as yeah. far as the legislature goes. Like the state building that's being vandalized, like you like you obviously know what needs to happen. You're just trying to protect these cops for whatever reason. I really don't know why they're going out of the way to protect these guys. No, I don't get it either. Tough topic, but something that's very real. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I just bought a Colts jersey, and I don't get to see no Colts game. That's honestly got me big beef right now, too. <laughs> you big mad? Oh, that's another Dude, thing, just... all this YouTube drama going on. <laughs> I don't even want to get into that. It's so, clear. Like, <laughs> it's so petty. Uh, Everything is it, so petty. It's stupid. It, it's so small. Like Everyone knows Keemstar is a fucking douchebag, but man... I saw someone post about it, and they were like, 
just look at these guys like usernames. Can you really take this beef seriously? <laughs> <laughs> Two people who use fake aliases. Yeah. I don't know. I just want to go see a football game. The one like I just got back into like being super into football and Why? just like that. It's interesting. It's a fun game to watch. Lame. Dude, I think football's the best game to watch. Oh, even over like MMA? Ooh, that's tough. Well, even <laughs> MMA though, it depends on who's the fight. <laughs> but like, dude, could you imagine sitting down and watching a baseball game? No. <laughs> Put me to sleep. All like, sports if you are went boring over, to me. Well, no, like think about this. You go to your your uh mom and dad's house, you know, you go over there for a day, have a dinner, and they're like, you know, there's a baseball game, a football game, and a golf game on. Which one are you gonna be like, yeah, let's watch this one? So like Alex, you get to pick, but we'll watch them one. Uh I pick to go home. That's what You're I'm one doing. of those guys, aren't you? <laughs> Anti sports. No, I'm too I just, cool for that. I not no, I just does not entertain me. Sorry. You like any sport? I like swimming. But would you watch it? Yes. Like in the Olympics. I'd, yeah, see, I'd watch the Olympics. Yeah. That shit is intense. Yeah, I, I think it all depends on what you play as a kid. I would watch UFC if it didn't cost so much. Yeah. UFC. I think UFC is the exception. But, like, oof, there's so Conor McGregor's not going to be fighting, but that Khabib guy is here soon. Oh, really? It's the, what's his name? The guy's name, he just won. I think he's going to lose, that's why I can't remember his name. Because he seems pretty cocky, and I hope he loses. But it's some, like, American dude that just won against Tony Ferguson. That? Did you hear what? that? That gurgling? No. no. <laughs> that was my stomach, I'm about to shit my pants. Alright, that's the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm hungry, too. <laughs> Bye! We'll see ya. Oh wait, I gotta pull up the outro. Here we go. I'm out of here. I'm okay. leaving. It's playing. Go away. I'm done. I'm leaving. Thank you.